Good morning. As you say in Pampanga, Maya Baba. Um, welcome to build day 26 at Casa Texquina. Um, we're going to walk around the site a little bit this morning and show you um, what all we're expecting for the rest of the day and then tune back in a couple times throughout the day as we uh, get updates, uh, progress updates, see what's happening and then I'll close at the end of the day and let you know how it went. So what am I expecting today? Well, as you can hear all the noise, they're already starting up concrete. Uh, so we'll be mixing concrete. They're going to be pouring, continuing to pour some more uh, grade beans this morning. Um, they're already pouring foundation walls um, that they prepped yesterday. And then um, they're pulling the forms from the uh, grade beans and columns that they poured yesterday as well. So I'm checking those to make sure we don't have any more honeycombs. Um, and still digging out some more foundation walls and prepping other columns uh, to be poured uh, at a later point. So let's uh, go ahead and get started, take a look around. So we got Mr. Jericho over here in the hole doing foundation walls this morning. Um, putting in uh, the, the base uh, of the cement. Uh, they'll let that dry and then a little later this afternoon um, they'll start building up uh, the ho hollow block for the foundation wall up to the base of the grade beam. So we'll check back in later on Mr. Jericho here and see how things are going. Like I said earlier we've got a couple gentlemen setting up forms. Uh, these two gentlemen over here are setting up forms for one of the columns on the outside of the master's bath. Over here, closer to the entrance, Mr. Alex is setting up uh, forms for the great beams, which will be poured later this morning um, as a continuation from yesterday's efforts. So you can see they're, they're relocating some of the forms and building the new uh, forms for the grade beams that we'll be pouring a little later today. Take a look at some of the concrete from yesterday. This is concrete on the grade beams uh, that they poured yesterday afternoon. Uh, looks good. Looking at the columns. Um, doing a much better job now that they're rotting and um, doing rotting and tamping with the hammer uh, to remove most of the hollow uh, most of the uh, honeycombing let's take a look at this one over here in the corner where was the other one that they poured yes these these three they poured yesterday around the office space see little to no honeycombs good I'm enjoying it okay we got a delivery this morning another hundred bags of cement with all the concrete wood pouring we'll probably need it and making sure to maintain our stock so that's what's initially happening our warehouseman mr. Edmonds over there fixing lunch Mr. Orley is still bending rebars. Starting to place the first layer of hollow block for the foundation wall, separating the dirty kitchen from the breakfast nook. And then they will continue their way around and do the foundation wall between the kitchen and the pantry area and close off the kitchen hallway on the other side. Uh, these gentlemen here, Mr. Willie and Mr. Alex over in the front, uh, continuing to build the forms 
for the grade beams that they will pour a little later. And we have a couple gentlemen in the master suite also doing uh, forms for the, column, the few remaining columns. I think we have nine left that still need to be filled up to the base and bottom of uh, grade beam. They're also starting to put in the um, rebar for the foundation, or the base of the foundation walls in the master suite as well. So, busy, busy, as usual. All right, so the guy's got two batches of uh, what looks like concrete here. Uh, the really wet one on the left is actually concrete. Uh, the really dry one on the right is mortar. And what they're doing with the mortar is filling in the concrete hollow blocks uh, on the foundation walls so that it's reinforced concrete walls. Um, that's where the, the little bit drier mortar mix is going. And then the concrete that's nice and moist is going into the base of the foundation wall. Once that sets up, it'll look like this and they'll start putting more hollow block on it to build the foundation walls. Uh, with the remainder of concrete that they have, they're starting to connect the grade beams that were left over from uh, previous pours. So this is on the back side of the, the garage and then once they're done with that they'll come over and start working on these two that they left from yesterday as well as this one uh, around the kitchen area uh, that was formed up a little earlier this morning. All right let's go take a look around and see where we're at following lunch. So, uh, put a little water back in the mortar, get it mixing again, get it fluid so they can use it. Um, the wall, the foundation wall between the dirty kitchen and the breakfast nook uh, is up to the base of the grade beam. So the next thing they'll do at this location is put the grade beam across the top. And the gentlemen are still building the foundation wall um, along the hallway and kitchen area and starting to dig out the last remaining wall for bedroom number three which if I remember right I think this is the last wall that they will actually dig out okay before lunch finished they also put in um, what they had left with the concrete um, on this portion of the kitchen wall uh, just on the uh, grade beam so this is formed up just before lunch as well as the one uh, the wall between the formal dining room and the linen closet oh sorry coat closet and walk-in closet for bedroom three all right um, still doing some more uh, grade beam forms on this side and they've went ahead and formed up four more of the columns I uh, still have one remaining next to the water closet and once they get the um, foundation wall around that area they'll go ahead and close it up on that side so that 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 the forms on that column will probably come uh, late this afternoon or early tomorrow also looks like they're making some more creep if I had to guess I would say that concrete is going to go here on this grade beam uh, this is where they left off at yesterday afternoon notice they did leave a sloping grade in the form so that when they get, went to go back and do a good joint it, it'll blend and it'll work to, it'll have uh, plenty of grooves and places to connect uh, going along to the connection here 
that are coming around the front entrance. Uh, once they're done with that little piece, uh, they should start to work on the uh, office as Mr. Alex finishes it up. So Mr. Orley and Mr. Diego are working the grade beam rebars uh, for the areas between the dirty kitchen and the breakfast nook as Mr. Jericho and his helper there are finishing up the foundation wall between the kitchen and the uh, pantry area. It looks like they have one more course of hollow block to go and then uh, Mr. Orley and his helper will uh, begin fabricating the uh, grade beam rebar on that on that section as well so they did place the concrete um, along the outside exterior wall for the dining room and they're coming up to the entryway uh, this will probably be the last one or two uh, they'll probably use about a half a bucket of cement here to finish this up maybe two buckets because uh, they have to top off this uh, piece of a column and then they'll kick over and start working the office space so they're starting to put the cement sorry the concrete into the area the grade beams around the office and we're rotting get it all into place make sure the mixture is good no honeycombs and you will see it here in a moment he will go at it with the uh, hammer as well on the sides to try to lessen the honeycombs as much as possible this way the uh, the paste and the aggregate work their way into the low locations it is kind of difficult there is a lot of rebar in tight space Mr. Orley's been busy over here. I didn't realize he built the last two posts. That's for the front entry, right? So these are the two posts that are going to be for the front entryway. The last two for the first floor. This is the other one. That's what's going to hold up the uh, the extended roof over the, the front porch, front patio, entryway, foyer if you want to call it that. Uh, that's what this is going to be. So they finished uh, pouring the grade beams for most of the office. Uh, they left a connection or a joint uh, to where they will continue those beams uh, into the master suite, uh, most likely tomorrow. Okay, let's walk on around. They have poured a couple other uh, columns so this one here this is the this is column number one uh, according to my plan it's column number one uh, bottom left hand corner of the house this is the uh, corner of the master's closet okay coming up from here the other corner of the master's closet and part of the shower 
Uh, this column here was also poured. So they had four columns on this side of the wall, or this side of the house. This is the master suite side, uh, the south end of the house. Still working on the last one. Take a look up inside. All right, so on the afternoon walk around, they're continuing grade beams. Uh, this is between the dirty kitchen and the uh, breakfast nook. And then this area here will be along the hallway. Um, this area here will be left open. Uh, there's nothing really above this. They are gonna put a piece of uh, gray beam here just to give more support uh, to the area. And then in the area where I'm standing here is the kitchen. So we'll have the refrigerator in this side, cabinetry, and in this corner will be an electric stove oven with the uh, hood above to go out. Uh, then we come around, there'll be an entrance here to go out into the adjoining hallway uh, and have easy access from the kitchen to the formal dining room. Come, the uh, cabinet space will come around. We'll have double sink here and then a uh, breakfast bar. Uh, for about another four to six feet here. Now, in the, what I'm not showing you is in the middle, uh, approximately here, is going to be a, a three foot by six foot um, island in the center. So we have a, the, the granite countertop, or as they call it here, granite. Uh, they prefer the long eye for some reason. Uh, but a granite countertop will be here for uh, the island. Uh, all the countertops that actually throughout the house will be granite countertops. All right, so, and they're continuing to dig over here. They're, uh, they're putting the supports together for the base of the uh, foundation wall. And this is going down the hallway uh, with the uh, half bath in the hallway and then staircase around the outside edge. Uh, going up for the attic space again coming in this section here is going to be an entrance into the pantry which will go underneath the staircase so we'll come around this column and go into this into the pantry so just taking advantage of the space that's available and otherwise would not be used Well, I'm going to close early today. Um, the guys are still on site working. 
Um, I just did a short walk around with you to show you what all has been going on for most of the day. Um, making good progress. Um, the foreman tells me that we should be having a uh, concrete hollow block go up to the exterior walls uh, starting no later than Monday. Uh, which tells me he'll probably actually start on Saturday afternoon, at least the base course, and then go up from there. If you like the uh, videos you're seeing, give us a big thumbs up down at the bottom. If um, you would like to see more of these, hit the Casa Texpina star down in the bottom right hand corner and you'll be subscribed. Uh, hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified when our next uh, video is uploaded for your viewing pleasure. Until then, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.